Hi guys, welcome back to part two of this build. Back here, I want to make it round, connect the round pipe, but I ran out of tubing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld these two pieces here together and then bend it for it to come around. Try anyway. By the way, this motor here, if you guys watch my video, on that electric bike frame that I took apart. This is the 2500 watt electrical mo motor that I had on there. This thing used to do 75 miles an hour, man. So I went ahead, I went ahead and welded the bottom pieces here, the ones that you guys saw me bending on both sides, and I'm going to use this head here. I took it off a BMX bike, an old BMX bike. And I'm going to end up, I need to cut this nice and straight on an angle, and then I'm going to end up using this right here. Which I think it will work out perfect. And then I'm going to have to ma make a plate for the bottom and a plate for the top. And then the forks. Cool. Cool. I don't know if you guys can see, but I did this all by eye, and I'm hoping that this here is centered. Yeah, 
and I think it's pretty centered. I don't have no special tools for it or aligning equipment or anything, but that's going to work out fine. I don't mean to sound like cars and cameras, but... I know this is a lot of work, but I don't have a 5 8 drill bit for the front axle. And a 5 8 drill bit is like 25 bucks. I'm not spending that much money. Uh, I could use that money for something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm cutting the slot here, and then I'll weld this pipe in here, which is 5 8 in diameter on the inside inner dia diameter I'll weld it here for the axle it'll act like the, as if I just drilled a hole cool cool
if Canada was a person. Of course, Canada would be a hockey player. The next goalie who almost made it never lost love for the game.
yourself cleaning glass. Go now to georgekent.ca to win a $25,000 home makeover. George Kent Home Improvements, standing the test of time since 1949. Desjardins Insurance presents Better Things at Dance Practice with Michelle. <sighs> I've always strived for perfection. Top of my class, never had a cavity, and because I've never filed an insurance claim, when I switched my home insurance to Desjardins, I saved 20%. Michelle, you missed a step. <laughs> I don't miss steps. Switch to Desjardins Insurance and save up to 20% for being claims-free with your previous home insurer. Discover better savings and so much more at betterthings.ca. Certain conditions apply. At Mercedes-Benz Toronto Retail Stores, receive up to $9,000 in cash credits, three payments waived, plus additional savings on select 2017 demo models. Details at mbtoronto.ca. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. So uh, I hope you guys can see this, um, she's actually coming out nice, obviously it's just tack welded together, but um, yeah she's looking okay.
it's dark here, so I can't do any work, but uh, I'm hoping you guys can uh, see how it's looking so far. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to try to figure out something to do with the... Um, the carburetor, the filter for the carburetor. And the exhaust. Filter is supposed to go on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually modify this. This part here is what holds the choke down so it doesn't slide slip off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this because it's exactly the same shape for the gasket on the engine. But I'm going to modify it in a way that I can put an aftermarket uh, air filter on it. Cool? Cool. I'll show you guys how I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to keep this there. Here. But I'm going to end up modifying the rest here cutting all this the rest off and modifying this so I can get a, a filter on closed captioning another consideration for the Big Bang Theory provided by new Charmin Ultra Soft Faster than ever new Charmin Ultra Soft is softer than ever so it's harder to resist <laughs> By the way, the, the reason why I'm moving on to this is because it's dark outside, so. Fiberglass this. Obviously, it's not going to be that long. I'm just going to make it long enough so the filter can fit on there. Um, I haven't received the filter yet. I'm not ordering it. For my first motor for the Sexy Machine, I ordered the kit. Performance kit for the Sexy Machine. It cost me like ridiculous. Over a hundred bucks plus it was like fifty dollars duty charge to cross the border i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna make my own i ordered it from uh bang good a filter that was 3.99 exactly the same as the one i got from um from go power sports the problem is it's gonna take longer to get here so i'm not gonna do this yet until I see exactly the size of the filter and then this way I can um, fiberglass this 
make it nice and round and the filter will, will fit on here nice and then I still have the, um, the hole down for the um, for the the choke yeah and then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make my own exhaust pipe like uh, custom winder did for his lawnmower you guys might see me in almost every video scratching no I don't have a skin disease or anything what it is is I get bit by mosquitoes like crazy out there and you know what I can almost see them banging into each other and falling to the ground because they're drunk from sucking on my blood like I got bites all over myself and this is the why this is the reason why you guys see me scratching sometimes it's just ridiculous people sit out there sometimes with me and they say they, they're not getting bit so these mosquitoes must love alcohol blood it's a lot cheaper and everything uh i'm gonna leave this video here uh, but before I go, I wanted to, I honestly wanted to contact um, T-Man and ask him if me and him can do a nice build-up together, which I think would, would have been cool and everything. But I found out that he's doing a, a build-up with uh, Atzar and uh, Stacy Reeves. So, you guys stay tuned for that. I'm, sh I'm sure they're going to come out with freaking nice, nice carts. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't even know. It's, it, it's, I don't even know if they're building carts or, or bikes. So, but I'm pretty sure whatever they're building, it's going to come out nice. Um, and I think that's awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to wait for that build off and thanks for watching guys. Cheers.